solve this question, we're going to use the formula, the voltage is equal to the electric field times the distance. We're given that the voltage is 25 kilovolts and the separation distance is 1.5 centimeters. Now we'll go ahead and solve for E and we'll get 1.7 times 10 to the 6 volts per meter. Now the E field can also have units of newtons per coulomb. So that it goes ahead and answers the question and you can feel free to leave and stop watching the video now. The next portion of this is going to talk about how we derive this voltage formula right here. So we begin by understanding the definition of what voltage is. So voltage is the work done to move a charge particle. Additionally, the voltage is the potential energy per unit charge. So let's begin with the potential energy formula. It's also known as the work formula. So work is equal to potential energy, and that is a force times a distance. Since we're working with a charged particle, let's substitute this force using Coulomb's law. So we get that the work, which is also equal to the potential energy, or I should say electrical potential energy, is equal to Coulomb's constant times the charge of the first particle times the charge of the second particle multiplied by this distance here. So we're just going to change the lettering here. Instead of using D, we're going to use the letter R, which is the same thing. D is a separation distance. This will allow us to cancel one of the R's. And we get that the work of the potential energy is equal to KQ1 times Q2 over R. But we said that the voltage is the potential energy per unit charge. So what we have to do now is we'll divide by Q and we can do that by multiplying by one over Q. That gives us the voltage and one of the Qs is going to cancel out and we'll get KQ over R for the voltage. Now recall that the electrical the electric field has this formula here. E is equal to a force per unit charge. We can get an alternate formula by once again using Coulomb's law. So we get that the electric field is equal to K Q1 times Q2 over R squared. And let's not forget about this Q term right here. So we multiply that by 1 over Q. One of the Qs is going to cancel out. And we get this alternative formula for the electric field of KQ over R squared. Now, in order for us to get this formula down here, delta V, or sometimes we write it as V is equal to E times D, or we could have it as E times R, whichever you see in your textbook. What we have to do is we'll modify this formula here so that it looks like the voltage. And we do that by multiplying by R because the R's will cancel down here and we'll get the voltage. So this is why we get this form of voltage. We get this relationship here. Sometimes you'll run across this other formula for the work or the potential energy, and that is the charge times the potential difference or the voltage. So to derive this, recall once more that the work formula or the potential energy is equal to a force times a distance. Rather than using Coulomb's law, let's once again use the electric field formula. We'll rearrange this so that we isolate the force. Now we'll go ahead and make a substitution here. Now notice here that E times D, we have a formula for this. We said that the potential difference 
is equal to the electric field times the distance. So once more, we'll make a substitution here and we'll get that the final form of this will look like will equal Q delta V. And that is how we derive these equations.